Hello. Right, what I want to show you here is um, basically this. So these are as rare as rocking horse poop by the look of it. Uh, if you try and buy them from Hobby King or anywhere else, they're almost impossible to get. There are many ways of creating these characters. Um, and I decided, well I actually made one using just a regular transistor and a couple of resistors. And that was okay, a bit fiddly. So I decided to uh, use this thing that I found on OSH Park, which basically is a small circuit board for service mount devices, uh, which I've never used before. Um, and here we go. So uh, this is the board itself. Um, very, very small, as you can see. And um, it just uses regular sort of uh, a 10K and a 1K resistor. And uh, I believe it's an NPN trans transistor. Um, this is a pack of 10 transistors. Um, I've already used one, so there's nine left. I'll give you some rough idea how small they are. And um, here's the circuit board I made up. I've actually sort of tapped into uh, my mini HQ here uh, for this purpose and that. But here's the board. Um, there's three, there are the three components that I've mounted. And what I've done, I've just basically taken a servo cable, chopped it in half, and inserted the uh, circuit board in its place. So the way it works, it takes S bus in from the receiver and uh, through the transistor and the resistors it inverts the signal for the NASE32 or FLIP32 uh, flight board. Um, the input of that then goes to uh, port 4 of the, uh, of the, of the NASE and of course that's port 4 of the FLIP32 as well. Um, I'm just giving it some local power from a uh, little U back here just to give it some power. So um, driving this using uh, an orange receiver and a Spectrum DX8. Ta -da! Right, and I've got running in the background uh, on this machine Clean Flight. So there's Clean Flight running, and um, what we can see is if you look at the throttle channel 3. And the yaw, channel 2, pitch and roll, and the various aux switches. Uh, so this is auxiliary 1, uh, that's I believe auxiliary 2, 3 position switch, aux 3, 3 position switch. And AUX4 I've got on a twiddly dial, which I guess we could use for trimming and stuff like that. I haven't got AUX5 or anything else rigged up. Um, I just have to route them through the transmitter some by some means, uh, mix them in or something. Um, but yeah, there it is. Um, S bus um, into the clean flight, running at this point on a flip 32, but equally could be a nase 32. Um, just to give you a quick rundown of what that's doing then. So uh, we first of all set the ports up. So UART 2 is a serial RX. Uh, we then go to the configuration tab and we scroll down. Uh, we tell it which or what the RX serial is. And it's going to be a serial based receiver, SPECSAC, SBUS or SUMD. And then on the next one we just say what the serial provider is and in this case it's just ordinary SBUS. It's not Spectrum as you might think, these are if you're using satellite receivers and 1024 is if you're using DSM2 and 2048 is if you're using uh, DSMX. So once you've got those uh, four parameters, three parameters set, um, you then save it and uh, you'll then find that you've now got serial S bus um, into your flip 32 and of course um, you've got 16 channels to play with so there we have it clean flight using S bus via a serial inverter 
what I made. Uh, and I may be selling these on eBay at some point. I haven't made my mind up yet. Thank you.